talks like Ned Flanders from NC <laughs> that's wobbling me. Oh, oh he goes Why is he always him. smiling? Why has he got such kind eyes? He's going chic. Sharks, baby. Yeah, he uh, he wants to win. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't want to lose, so he's not going to play Ice Climbers. He's not a big fan of the uh, you know, Ice Climbers matchup. This is a, it was funny because we were watching Waylon versus, uh, I think it was David. Uh huh. And that was the match to decide who got to play Sharks. And Sharks, like as soon as Waylon won, Sharks like, had this dejected look, look on his face. He was like, no. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Sharks, uh, Sharks does not enjoy this uh, this character they call Peach <laughs> at all. His cheek's not looking, very, looking pretty good, though. His cheek's not terrible. I will say uh, his cheek has come a long way since he started playing her, but he definitely started playing her for this matchup specifically. Oh. We have a lot of Peach in NC, and Waylon is probably the second best, if not the best, uh, Peach that we have. Him and Stingers are tight, tight, tight when it comes to overall skill. Really? Different play styles for certain but they're close. So it's, it'd be Singers, Waylon, and then probably Red, right? I would, I would say so. I yeah. think that yeah. it, it's one of those things where they're all very, very close to the same skill level. I feel like they all could be the same people. Waylon has had less great performances lately, but he's also been more inactive lately. Okay. When he, last year when he was active, no, there would have been no question that him and Stingers are definitely right there, right, on, right with each other. Let's see. Um, Waylon was hoping to use this tournament as his kind of comeback tournament, you know? So, uh, he's top eight. He is top job. eight, and now I think uh, he's using the Wilmington tag, which is kind of confusing. Maybe it's for David, but I think he lives around Greensboro now, so maybe this is like him, you know, first tournament, big tournament in his home turf, too. Right. And we see him get a smooth 80 on Shark. Shark's still alive. He seems to have a pretty good handle on the Sheik matchup as well, which is, you know, that's it. Well, a he plays a lot with Jack Williams, Jay Willie. And uh, uh, Jay Willie has a very, very, very good Sheik overall, especially yeah. when you're talking about comparative, comparative to the skill level of an average PR player in NC. Jack, Jack, of course, was formerly PR himself. So, I mean, he's got a lot of experience in the matchup versus people who know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. He's doing a really good job of controlling his space and uh, doing the Armada stuff, right? The wave dash back down tilt, and, you know, standing right outside Sheik's range and, you know, punishing her for doing stuff. Yes. Cool. Do you think? Uh, I was hoping for reverse fair there. I'm, yeah. I'm sure Sharks was too. Yeah, I think he went for it. Went for the up air. That nice up it. kick. That will be the end. <laughs> up spiral kick. The, the spiral. Have you ever tried doing that like in real life? Uh, have I ever tried doing that in real life? Yeah, dude, it's, it's impossible. Uh, I have tried some maneuvers from melee in real life because I take uh, I take like kickboxing and Muay Thai, oh, so nice. I'm always interested to see if certain things actually would hurt. Falcon's down smash would definitely hurt yeah, oh, yeah. if you did it to someone, especially if you cock back your leg far enough. But uh, I don't think there's many humans that could actually kick something upward spinning like that and uh, <laughs> it have any kind of force at all. <laughs> so Shark man managing to pull ahead despite Willian's strong start. Uh, Shark kind of like held his own and played patient. I, said, yeah, yeah, I mean Sharks is going to keep him Sharks is going to keep it really, really close. Uh, Waylon would be the favorite on paper just for the characters that have been played, but Sharks is rising to this occasion right now. Trust and me. he's he went for the anti Still there. alive? Yeah. Dead now, though. Wow, that was very interesting. Uh -oh, he's Takes a, a deep face. breath. Got a stitch. Sharks is so engaged oh. in this match. He's so interested in playing. <laughs> Waylon looks like he's playing his taxes. <laughs> he's <ta> <laughs> He looks like he's filling out his W-2s. Sharks looks like he's having the time of his life. Like he's playing Super Monkey Ball. I think I'm sick. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't you be having fun and grinning and smiling like Sharks if you Absol play? Absolutely. Oh. Oh, nice fair, but can't get too thirsty for that grab. It's it's one of the things where it's like he's got to be looking for grab right now. Nice. Oh, that was just mistiming. That was just oh. well, lack tried, of experience. He tried to cover so many options there, but he... Like didn't cover the one that uh, Sharks went the way for. The way uh, okay. oh, Zelda that's, that's recovery. It, it. There's no way. Do you, do you think Sharks will try to opt for Ice Climbers at all? Think oh, I think, he'll, I think we'll see the Ice Climbers, especially if he gets 2-1, or especially if it's 2-0. But okay. the way that Peach, Peach's body bends back when she goes to throw her crown, I deal with this all the time with Luigi, but when yeah. you're a character where you have aerials that have like shorter than average range, like say Luigi's Fair or Sheik's Fair, mm -hmm. and you're trying to hit Peach, when she jerks her body and bends it backwards to hit you with Fair, it's one of those things where it's like, Falcon S Smash has that pullback effect. Yeah. It, it has like an aerial pullback, um, and that's what we saw him get messed up by right there. And I think that's just a lack of experience in playing this matchup at a high level. Yeah, but I mean, if he's trying to use this tournament to like kind of feel out his chic, then yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think he's using this tournament to fill out his chic because I think he wanted to win this tournament. Um, but he's but when you find out you got to play Waylon in top, you know, eight, 
of uh, losers, yeah. and you want to win, and you know you can't with ICs, you got to do what you got to do. Might as well try it, right? Yeah, absolutely. It so I think that if we see oh. Sharks if we see sharks lose this game, I think we'll see uh, the mysterious and the deadly annoying twins appear. Oh, William's so conscious of, you know, guarding Sheik. Every single time uh, Shark goes from early at B, William's already he got the box out. very good lateral control, which Peach, if you if you have that oh, yeah, strength yeah. as a character, as a player, if you have that strength, Peach is the perfect character for you. Nice needles, jingling the car keys, <laughs> double bear. Shark, he's managed to find, you know, Pretty good uh, damage strings early on, but hasn't really closed out the kills as well as Waylon has. Nice bear, I love that. Except for that one time. You would think right that now. you would think that you would know that he's going to do that because it's like pretty much the only way that you can die in that situation. But you still get hit by. But it happens as fast. It happens to me all the time. I'm like, hey, Fox wants to shine, and then I get shined, and then I die. <laughs> oh, melee's hard. And fast. <laughs> oh, it's well. tough. Game's tough, man. That's what makes it hard is you can know exactly what's going to happen and yeah. still get messed up. It's hard to deal with. Waylon looking for another uh, famous. Edge guard for Peach, or against Sheik. I was going to say, he was uh, on empty, he was doing the down smashes. Going for the reverse snare is generally considered optimal because it sends Sheik back off in, in, in the right direction. And also, you have the option of doing the cheeks. Oh, you yeah. have the option of throwing the cheeks out there like yeah. he did right there, finishing. Oh, no fear from Sharks. He said, nah, not up here. <laughs> hey, how about nah? Oh. Never get in a down smash war with Peach. I mean, it's just like, ugh. It's funny, I think she, uh, Peach players are the only players I've seen who have the C-Stick wear out on them. Everyone yeah. else has the control stick, you know. Yeah. But then with the C-Stick, because they're mashing that down. Certainly. I, my my C-Stick is messed up from mashing Luigi's down smash. Oh, right, right. Nice nair from Might the one they call Wei. Oh. Wayland, despite Sharks kind of having to lead the entire time, he's managed to force some really good trades you know, with strong center stage control. Oh, oh. nice grab. Oh, got tricked by the... Oh, I want to see Sharks bust out. I mean, Sharks has actually very good reaction tech chasing, but I haven't seen any of it. That's like one of the things I was like, you got to play Sheik okay. because your reaction tech chasing is good. Okay. I haven't really seen any. Oh, that's it. That's good. Once again, no human could kick in a way that would hurt anybody doing that. You're right. <laughs> I, I tried doing it to a pool once. It just, it, I just like fell down. No uh, force behind it at all. It was tough, dude. Yeah, like could you imagine someone holding a board and you trying to <laughs> you trying to use that kind of maneuver to break that board? It's like physically impossible. Good luck, even if you're a gymnast. Good luck. Sheik's more than a gymnast, though. She's a ninja. Uh, yeah, when I play Sheik, I feel like I'm playing Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. I'm just sneaking around and being super in shape. Acrobatics. You jiggle the car keys for the distraction. Jiggle the car keys oh. for this noise distraction. What was that noise? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hear the goggles. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> and Wheeling, he's, uh, he's always in the right spot to edge guard uh, Sharks. She admitted some, you know, lack of experience on, on Sharks' part on knowing how to recover, but Wheeling's doing a bang up job. Oh. Oh. And covered so, so much with that. Uh, the backer down smash there. Shark just could not find his way out of the corner. Ooh. Just a little too close to the sun. And this is a tight game here. 1-1. One, one. Oh. 99% is not a lot in this matchup, but uh, Shark's been trying to claw his way back to the front of the line for a while now. Oh. William read that, but he was drifting back and he tried to nair, so he got a forwarder instead. Now here's, did Waylon lose that last game on purpose to instill false confidence in Sharks so he wouldn't take ICs? Mm. Mm. Probably not. Multi-game conditioning? <laughs> Multi, well, I mean, you were talking about the long con breaking somebody's <laughs> controller. I mean, I'm just trying to think over the course of a couple games. I know my scope is smaller. I'm a, not a man of vision. <laughs> and I gotta say, Sharks is having a lot of trouble getting out of the corner against Waylon. He's Waylon doing such a good job of just Controlling that space. He's just kind of jumping in a triangle uh, to like kind of come in, and then you can't really do that when you're in a corner because yeah. you'll just get put into the optimal place to get killed by her. Oh, there's that down tilt. Doesn't get the auto cancel. You can't like run. You can't just like fall on them with fair. I think that's probably the most obvious. Oh, sheik rest. <laughs> there you go. Sheik rest to fair. <laughs> Extended combo. Shark managed to find a recovery by being really, really early. Just gotta stop with the fair. I mean, I'm just not liking these fairs at all that I'm seeing from him. Uh, every time he throws one at low percents like this, he's getting bodied for it. He managed not to get too messed up there, though. 
Oh. You see, he's trying to roll his way out of the corner, and Wayland's always ready and waiting for it. Oh, a little, took a little too long getting that set up. Yeah, that fair tickled, but it did scoot him just far enough away to keep him safe. Sheik is poofing back onto the stage here. Let's see if Sharks can get back. Oh, oh Sheik rests into the wall. Oh. Bubble Buns onto the stage. Shark has, you know, he, his Sheik's definitely shown up, you know, decently over the course of this game, but he's kind of he's been losing in a lot of the close-course combat exchanges, and that's tough. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like I said, I think if we see him get put in that that sudden death scenario where it's only like one game to go, yeah. we'll probably see the we'll probably see the climbers. Because he'd have a mountain to climb in terms of games. Yes, correct. You're absolutely right. <laughs> You're absolutely spot on. We'll see. He, he's at the very least, though. The games have not been blowouts from Wayland, so. Yeah, absolutely. That's, I mean, that's a testament he's, to Shark's not only has he managed to keep it like really close, he's managed to keep Way keep, keep Wayland really humble. Wayland is like really trying to go for the most optimal punish possible every time he touches Sharks. Yeah. But Sharks is like, Sharks is a player of vigor and tenacity. Like he, like no matter what character he plays, it's not going to be an easy fight. Nobody has ever gone out there and like just run over Sharks, even when he was brand new. Oh. Trucks, he could have held down to get the anti-peach tech. We roll down on the give by two hits and down smashes in the other way. But last time he did that, uh, Waylon still followed up on it and killed him anyway. So. Battlefield with no climbers. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so uh, I guess he is not feeling it today. Oh, oh nice uh, dash tech there. Could have been the end with another with one more uh, down smash. Now that he has a kind of a wider center area on the stage, the fairs are actually working a little bit better. He's kind of forcing Waylon to, to move in on him. Okay. Tricky recovery. Oh, okay. He managed to sneak his way back onto the stage. And there's a, he's waiting for the roll. He's just slightly mispositioned for it, but he's so patient. Oh. Nice. I like it. It's really a, a slap battle between these two. Yeah, the reverse nair that you said was more optimal there. Oh, the buns. Sharks not having fun now. Oh, no. Sharks, it, Sharks it, is done smiling. His youthful smile and vigor is, is, gone. is, is gone. It's gone. The light from his eyes is There faded. it is. Oh, there's back. It's back, baby. Let's go. Looks like he just got a Nintendo 64 for Christmas. <laughs> Could have gotten one here. There's some good deals <laughs> yeah, that's over there. SNES. Yeah. The yeah, Switches, those are dope, dude. Oh, oh. Sharks not dissuaded rolling out of the corner, you know, even though Wayland's covered it pretty decently. He's still willing. Ooh, I like it. Oh. It's still close. Yeah. Sharks is making this look doable. Once again, that is, this is a testament to his skill as a player, you know, his, he's not just an, a wobble master, right? He's got some skill at Smash. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there are always people who are going to talk like that when you oh, make yeah. a character like the Ice Climbers, but... Um, Sharks has always been somebody who makes intelligent decisions no matter what tool sets are available to him in whatever game. That's why he's always been successful in every game outside of Melee too, where there's no wobbling. Yeah. Every Smash game he's actually tried and competed at that he's actually put effort into, he's done not only great, but been PR'd top five. Dang, that's crazy. Except for in Melee, I think he's just on the outside cusp of that top five. But he's so close. Six or six or seven, just like him or him and Jimmy are one on one, one oh. or the other. Oh, we live. Oh my gosh, that was a sick punish. Oh, it's a little antsy. He could have way dash fast fallen, but it, it's tough. The timing is really tight on that. Oh, we, I like it. We're finding uh, Wayland in the corner more often against Sharks. Yes, course, and now it seems like he's having problems getting out. Yeah, but he's not rolling. Yeah, and he's not having. He's not really uncomfortable either. Yeah, yeah, he's still fighting, but Sharks getting the better of him in more of the exchanges than not. Oh, gets the reverse nair. And it's probably, oh no, he's alive. Oh, Dare, that's gonna be nair. It. He's really far. No, I didn't think so. All right, it's going to come down to this. Can Sharks stay alive? This could be Sharks' last Or does Wei Lin smell blood in the water? Thanks. Oh. Is it Shark Week or is it <laughs> Extinction Season? <laughs> Oh. And they're scrapping. They're just like, there hasn't been a combo this whole stock. They're just 
kind of going at each other and trading. Yeah, and these are one of these guys are what you would call combo lords. Oh, that's another a... up And we're going to game five. That's the second time our Waylon tried to come down with a bear and Sharks just traded with up air because he knows, you know, you're going to die. I'm going to eat like percent that doesn't matter because the game's going to end. Oh, game five. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Give it just a second. Okay. Lemon lime climbers. You got to get your lemon lime or climbers. Oh, actually, he went for the camo, sta the stage camo. That's what he's right. going for. Uh, man, what if he just gets obliterated, though? Because he won the last game. Yeah, does, does Willen have Oh. Oh, well. Does Willen have a what good history? What do you history? know about that? Does he have a good history against Sharks? Uh, I mean, Sharks has a mixed record versus every peach. He has wins over every peach and losses to every peach in NC. In this, in this matchup, not, okay. not, not counting his Sheik. His Sheik right. is a new development. I think he's been working on the sheet for about a month and a half, two months. But he, like you said, he's putting putting a lot of effort trying Likes to. Nice handoffs into the wobble. You know, kind of makes me think maybe if he had tried the uh, nice times from the start. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe. Maybe, but uh, maybe not. That's your maybe Wayland? he needed to put that doubt in Wayland's mind with those sheet games. Maybe yeah. he needed to make Wayland feel like he was close. And Wayland's definitely he's not he's not ready for ice climbers right now. He's ready for Sheik. There's a stamina else. thing too because there's definitely there's definitely a difference between playing a best of three set and a best of five set that goes to the last possible game. Yeah, that's true. And uh, switching to a new character, oh. especially your main, can refresh you a little bit. Whereas you know Wayland's going to stick with the same character the entire Wayland's time. Wayland's not only going to stick with the same character, he's also he's also been sticking with the same pace. He hasn't slowed down his pace to match the ice oh. climbers yet. Nice oh. mana hammer drop there. It's looking really brutal for Wei Lin. It's looking like a quattro, quattro, quattro for Tyler here. Yeah. And there's the chance. The mixed chance of Wei Lin and, and four stock. Oh, the Wei Lin chance are drowning out the four stock chance. The people's champion is coming off of the invincibility platform. Can he not only come back here, uh, but just overcome this incredible four stock deficit that Sharks has made? Oof. Off of just a couple throws. Well, have not been very successful at killing Nana. He's uh, opted for down smash a lot, which just sends Nana to the other side instead of going for like, an, air, an air trade or something like that. Well, you constantly create this decision tree for yourself where it's like, which one am I going to chase? Yeah. And the, the option is to back. go for Popo when you're when you're even, but if you're behind like this, you got, I think you got to get rid of Nana. Yeah, for sure. Well, then often to finally start playing a little more defensive, not rushing as hard. Yeah, he's finally starting to slow it down, but yeah. is it too late on his last side? It might be, because he was scrapping with Sheik, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh wow, he's just grabbing just from so far. That was just it. Wow. Can we get a, wow. Can I get a, can somebody tweet, tweet me a Giphy Cat of how far <laughs> away that grab was? Play that back. He that teleport nice. into his hands, and that's five that's games. After a grueling. Five game stretch. After a grueling four game set of Sharks. Peach. Sharks, you know, 